What's up, y'all? Check this out. An action camera for 20 bucks. High definition, to be exactly. Can you believe that? Look at this thing. Got a mic. I'm not gonna say it looks like a duck or it talks like a duck, but it does. See this? Look at that. What does that remind you of? I know. I know. I know, I know what you know it looks like. Found it for 20 bucks. The other day, I got a tip from a source that there was a camera at a store that doesn't normally sell camera gear or anything for that matter for $20. So I had to go and take a look for myself. Now, when I saw it there, I knew said source was 100% reliable. So I got it, I had to get it, you know what I'm saying? 20 bucks, come on. I, along with some other essentials, I'm gonna open this thing up. Boom. Waterproof case. What else? A little bag of gear. Just like you know who. But here's the main thing. Now, if we look at this, it is very similar to others that I've seen before, other companies, if you will. It is incredibly lightweight. I mean, you would think there's nothing in here. It's got a, a button here that says mode, along with power. And my favorite. Got a button that just says okay. You'll see that? It just says okay. What does it mean? Okay, push it. Okay, see what it does. So I'm gonna test it out. It comes with battery and everything. A little spot for the memory card. If I push this okay button, oh, we got action. Y'all hear that? Full battery though. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out. We're gonna put it underwater. I hope it doesn't break. Now I'm a firm believer of, it's not the camera gear, but the camera operator, right? Tell about our creativity, what can we do? So it's not necessarily that you need to have the most expensive camera or an expensive camera. Sometimes a $20 camera will do. If you just use your imagination, use your creativity, put some things together, right? Now I'm not saying obviously that certain occasions don't call for having a professional camera for a camera that has certain tools you need it to come with is this a gear review maybe yeah i guess i mean i only bought it because it's 20 bucks and it's a wannabe gopro i said it so uh let's see what it does all right first test is going to be the the bike test so we got it here on the bike bang 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 we're gonna hit that little okay button actually i need to turn it on then we hit okay, then we take off. Now we're gonna go for the underwater test. Hopefully it doesn't, hopefully it doesn't die on me. So as you can see, this thing is absolute trash as far as quality picture, but you know, creatively, it could be used for something. I put it under water, it survived with its casing. When I put it on the bike, obviously zero stabilization, as expected for something like this. I had to get it. Creatively, I'll find some use for it, but 20 bucks, 720, 720 is not dead, 720p. Wanted to show you what this thing can do, can't do much, can't do much. But if you put your brain to work, along with your creativity, you can use it for something. And that's what I always say. There's always a use, there's always a way. Is it worth it? Absolutely not. Save your 20 bucks. And that's even if you can still find it. I don't even know they have in that store. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for looking at this with me. It is not a review, but I reviewed it. And I'm here to say, don't buy it. $20, not worth it. Save it for a GoPro. If you must, and you have no other way, and you can find it, have at it. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. As always, I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah.